Hello ladies and gentlemen. It was quite a while ago when I made a video about how to build your own capacitor bank. And I wanted to make use of it now. I told you that you can, for example, make a spot welder out of it or revive batteries. For sure, you should re revive rechargeable battery. And as it came, I had those gold peak nickel metal hydrides which were partly broken. I bought a whole stack of them. And yeah, about 10 out of like 400, I think, were broken. That's quite a good result. So I'm going to show you how you can use a capacitor bank to rewrite batteries. And first of all, this is very dangerous. You can harm yourself. The batteries could blow up potentially, and they could harm you. So, I'm not liable for anything that is caused by this video or what I tell you right now. We start off taking a voltmeter and checking the voltage of the batteries. Just to give you kind of an overview of how they are performing right now. So we go to the DC volt range of our voltmeter. We go to the 2 volt range because this nickel metal hydride has a nominal voltage of about 1.2 volts and the maximum voltage it can have is about 1.45 volts. Hook it up and we're about 0.8 volts. 0.84 volts. That's way too low. So, you need a capacitor bank, broken battery, a power supply, and having a voltmeter might be useful as well. Now we will charge up the capacitor bank to about 25-26 volts. We're going to tap the battery, to tap the battery with it, to break some crystals inside of the battery and charge it up with or in kind of a cruel but working way. If a battery is broken, it usually has very high resistance. And due to Ohm's law, you need a very high voltage to get some current into the battery and charge it up. And that's what we're going to do right now. After the battery is at about 1.2 volts or 1.15 volts, you can just put it inside of your normal charger and charge it up like a normal working battery. Start off by hooking up the capacitor bank to the terminals of our power supply. And yes, it will make kind of a small pop right now because we're charging up the capacitors and they have a very low resistance. It might blow. So basically the capacitors are charged up at 25.8 volts now. Now you have positive and negative and I'm going to tell you that you have to hook up negative to negative of the battery, positive to positive. Otherwise, you will break a battery even more. You will over discharge it and you will change the polarization of the battery, which will definitely make it go bad. Take your battery, tap it. Tap it or tapping it twice might already be enough. You can see that we actually carbonized the positive terminal. It might be better to use a relay or something or some kind of high current switching device to do that kind of thing. Now, taking our power supply, checking the voltage on the battery, will show us that we are about 1.2 volts and the voltage is dropping. But now it will be detected by a charger, not as a broken battery, but as a working battery. And the chances of this battery getting back to life is pretty high. So now take this battery, 
put it inside of your charger and charge it up whole night. Then discharge and charge it like two times and then you will have a completely working battery again. The battery will be fully recovered almost. So basically this is how you recondition the battery and I hope the video helped you and can save you some or a lot of your money. So goodbye.